Hi guys, welcome back to Lincoln Farm. How are we all doing? I hope you're well. Did you see the did you see the nice thumbnail? <laughs> We've upgraded our tractor from a 49 horsepower Massey Ferguson to a 50 horsepower John Deere. You're gonna be seeing that one very shortly. I just want to get this guy set up. You're not supposed to go backwards on a cultivator, but it's fine, it's only a game. <laughs> <laughs> don't thank me for that right there we go so we're going to get this guy we're going to give him two headlands to work with won't take very long at all um, and then we're going to be using the John Deere and a plow and we're going to be planning out our next two maybe three field plots at least that's the plan um, around the back of the farm these fields will get bigger over time, I should think, or they'll get blended into one somehow. I don't worry about the edges so much. It's fine. That is not fine. So you know what? It's all doing my head in. Let's go backwards. <laughs> Let's get this up here because it is going to do my head in. I've decided. There we go. Just grab that. Yeah. Um, yeah, then we're going to set this guy up on a worker, then we're going to take the new John Deere. I haven't used it, so I don't know how capable it is or what it's going to be like. I've literally just driven it from the shop just before I hit record. Um, and attached it to the plough. Um, yeah, so... <laughs> it's tractor, man. Honestly, doing work on 49 horsepower tractors is okay until they need, <laughs> need a little push. But what happens is this one, it, it speeds up and it drops into second gear and it hasn't quite got enough power in second gear, look, to sustain the speed, maintain the speed. But it's all good. Stop changing gear and you'll be fine. Part of me thinks I should try and get away with just doing one headland and see how we get on. But I don't know, it just doesn't feel like it's enough. I don't know, maybe it will be. Maybe it will be, because this is taking forever otherwise. Yeah, maybe one's enough. Yeah, because it's going to keep doing this, and I can't be bothered with it keep jumping in second gear. So let's just get this up on here. Go hit high worker. Now let's find... Oh yeah, I've got to get rid of those trees. Let's, let's just nip down to the sawmill with these trees. This is still the same game day as the last video, by the way. Um, that's why nothing has really changed, but I wanted to start prepping fields, oh, making fields, new fields. That's the first time I've caught that fence. And it would happen to be on video, wouldn't it? <laughs> so, yeah. Again, this road is all being laid down by me. It's not perfect, so I'm going to tidy it up over time. But it will do for now. going to see my uh, french fry factory in a moment. I'm going to be making potato chips and french fries. I've already got some pallets of french fries to sell. I do believe we've got some <coughs> excuse me, wood to sell. Yeah, there's a french fry factory, potato factory. Potatoes, water, and oil in. <coughs> Excuse me. And we get potato chips out. Go and just drop those off. We'll turn this off. We'll leave this here for now. And we'll get back to the farm. 
Here's our new 50 horsepower tractor. <laughs> Feel the power. Isn't it wonderful? Speaking of which, I want to put a new silo bunker in for any excess grass we may have. Probably shouldn't have silos in there. I need a small one. That's way too big. I was going to put it along here. That's not too bad, that could probably go there. Or maybe even along the back. I think maybe there actually. I think that'd be cool. Um, oh we do have this one. Oh that's a oh that's a better size. It's not very big, but it's not a very big farm, is it? So maybe we can put that there. Yeah, but not yet. Let's get around here first. Let's have a look at what we're doing up here. I haven't slime, limed or fertilised that yet. I've just uh, cultivated it in. Right, so. Just turn this off a second. We have this bit of land here. And we could go all the way to maybe that tree and then make our way up all the way to here actually because of this rock and then go all the way across that could be another potato field potentially and the back one would be another source of income that could be where we sell anything and we just put a big yard in big field in so let's draw that let's draw that out let's 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 put a fence around where we want to be first of all where do we want the gates to be i think here uh, i think there and then we're gonna go around there like that Maybe even to there. Then we'll come across. Here. We'll go all the way up. Where will we go to? Here. And then we'll kind of oh, hang on. <laughs> let's get a bearings. Go like that. Along here. To there, and then we go along there, back to here. There, that could be our potato, our next potato field. Yeah. Alright. So we need to lose this tree. And of course the stump would have to stay there, wouldn't it? So if I could get rid of that. Come on, give it. 
Okay, the whole the whole tree apart from one. <laughs> right. Okay. We'll just put that there. In the overgrowth, we'll forget it's there. Um, I don't know where that stump's gone now. But let's cut out the field. Let's see where we're going to be. That's fine. It's not going to cause too much of a problem. Uh, I'll create those fields on. I think. there and then we'll cut across and then round like that hope that's going to be enough room for when we need to turn the harvester around run along this fence it should be pretty straight are we going straight no not really So we'll go around a second time, just so we get the line marked out properly. <laughs> he says missing a ton. Oh no, got it all. Good. Go back and do that bit. Yeah, we definitely need to get closer there you know, to the edge, I think. Just a little. There we go. Let's go the other way. We might as well. Maybe we'll uncover the tree stump. I'm drinking lemonade. Again, I don't know why I bother with pop when I'm recording a video. I just <laughs> I just do these things. Missing loads of this way around, aren't I? Maybe that's better.
God, let me see loads. I'm not going to do all this, I'm just laying out a, a lot of guidelines so I know where I'm going to be going. Right, I'm going to be going that far. That's fine. Right, next field. Stop there. Okay. Now, whereabouts is the edge of this? I think before those little trees will do. Are they still on my land? Yeah. Okay, so we're going before those trees. And... I am way off without fence. <laughs> I think. Oh no, it's coming back. No, okay. All right, so if we do a fence and go straight up, we can we can take part of the fence away. So we use that as a reference. Um if we draw a line straight, come straight along. I can't see the. I think like that. So it's only to what? Uh, where is there? Trees. Not there. Along here, can't see where the where the field ends. Let's say for there, right? Okay, and then okay. Let's say we do that for now. Um. Yeah, all right, I got it. We're going to come off this bit. To there. Add a gate. Add a gate there. Okay. I'll join those up. They're not perfect, but, it'll, you know, it'll do. No farm's perfect. I mean, this can go to here, to there, right. That's our next field. This is just wasteland. I don't know what to do with that. All this is waste. Maybe we'll put some trees or something in there just to make it look a bit... A bit more interesting. <coughs> Should have opened the gate first. Not to worry. <coughs> Okay, so this is going to be like any other kind of crop, wheat, barley, whatever, soybeans, to bring in some extra income. So we can start there, I think. Don't have access to this land. There we go. 
that's our border so we can adjust the uh... no no still okay where are we going to then can we go more this way that's right on the edge I think oh my life we did get a bit ambitious didn't we it's turning a bit At least we know where the boundaries are, so we, we can work with that. We can get quite close to this fence here. Again, this will tell me when we're at the boundary. I think we're about on the boundary there. Oh, that's all right, that is. I'm going to get these fields prepped, cultivated, limed, fertilized, off screen. Because with these small tractors, it will take a while. But I just wanted to get the foundations down so we could see what the plans are for the farm. Excuse me, I do apologise. Okay, I will leave that there. What we're going to do now... Hoping he's, yeah, he isn't fine. But we're gonna, we're gonna fall asleep. We're gonna sleep till the next day, and then we're gonna do some potato harvesting. I think. Take them over to the French fry factory. Um. No, we won't. We'll, we'll, we'll we're gonna sleep, but it'll be fine. Eight a.m. will do. Let's see. Have I got another day of rest, or have I got to work? If I do have to work, we'll go and sell the plank, actually. No, if we've got nothing to do, we'll go and sell the planks. Yep, okay. So, we'll just jump in the flatbed. And I'll see you over at the sawmill once I've loaded up. Okay, that's all the planks loaded up. Gonna sell these and have a nice little payday. I think. See you down the shop. Yeah, we just go to the shop now. So we'll just um, sell these. I'm not worried about the optimum prices to sell. I just want them gone. We're surviving at this point. 28,000, nearly 29,000, not bad, not bad at all. Okay, so I've slept another day, it's now 6.01 a.m., which means it's time to harvest some potatoes. Start from this edge and fold the uh, 
potato harvester. Oh, and start the start the job. Here we go. Lovely, lovely potatoes. This holds ten thousand meters of potatoes, so it's pretty cool. It is pretty cool. I still haven't cut out the rest of the field over there or over there. That's why we're starting at August 1st, because I do believe today is planting day. For canola. Yeah, we need to get canola in the ground today in the two fields at the front. So that's why we're starting nice and early today, because we've got harvesting to do, and then we've got to turn the fields around and get to harvesting. Good news is we don't need to put any lime on those fields, we just need to fertilise them. I do believe. Hire a worker. We'll grab this boy. Keep the plow on the field. Get the little trailer because it's not very big. It doesn't hold a lot. So we'll do a lot of um, parting. not very far. We do only have a very tiny trailer though. Sorry for the frame drops, it's uh, a lot of farm stuff going on. But we need to prepare that for collection. There we go. Red trailer. The trailer only holds three and a half thousand liters of um, <sighs> potatoes or anything loose. So we'll be doing a lot of carting today, but we do have the bigger trailer, which is over at the sawmill, I do believe. In fact, I may go and get that in a moment. Mine is patchy grass, so I might get that in. My sheep is Ooh. excuse me. Three thousand six hundred meters. That's fine. into that into there and then we will go and fetch this back because we're going to need it have we got any more planks to sell yeah we do bringing this back now is an illegal grain tank, that's great. So there's going to be a lot of parting to go on, he's nearly done, nice. So there might be some tidying up to do in that field, but it's fine. He can wait just there, we've got some oil, nice. That's good news actually. 
It's very good news. We can take that over very shortly. To the chip place. Where's the um, data chip place? Excuse me. Let's just turn around very quickly. Quickly catch him up before he stops. I know he stopped. That's fine. Close enough. It's close enough, apparently. I do need a bigger trailer, but I mean, all the bigger trailers look really out of scale. Look to the small tractors. We can get him before he gets to the end. I don't think so. I don't want to run over the potatoes to empty them if we don't have to. Help us see has completed their task. Let's just see how this guy gets on with the turning around here. Hopefully he'll give himself more room. Do something I don't. Oh, let's empty this while we're here. Come on. Let's take the end off of this field. Buy some more room. I know it's not normally how you harvest potatoes, but you know, it's your game, you play it how you like. <laughs> If that will help give more room. We'll carry on, dude. You're not finished. So don't lie. Let's, uh... Finish off the bits he's missed. Yeah, everything. Yeah, right. Right, I'm going to jump cut to the end of this video. <laughs> uh, 
to get that field done, see how much potatoes we end up with. I'm not going to lie, this is uh, taking a while. <laughs> but on, on the other field over there, up there, I've got the little Massey doing the fertilising. I'm calling it Sloth Squad Gaming out. Dude, if your PC is up and running, I need your help on it. You can do some plowing for me while I have a rest. <laughs> there you go, man. I'll give you a shout out. Go on time, nice. <laughs> this is taking some doing, but we're finally getting there. The first field is fertilised, ready for seeding. getting there. Okay, let's see how many we've got in total now. Pull this out of the way. Find our potato harvester. Yep. Pull that in there and then we'll see what potatoes we've got. How much oil have we got actually? Now, how do I see how much I got? Why it's not telling me? That's interesting. Oh, how? Hang on. Right, okay, so that's all we've got at the moment. It's fine. Put this back. Right, so we've just harvested fifty six thousand liters of potatoes. All right, so we've got fifty six thousand liters of potatoes. We have a couple of pallets, which is not great. We're gonna get more than that, hopefully. This oil it doesn't produce very fast. This windmill. But I guess it's alright. It's still got. Oh, it's only got 827 meters of potato. Oh, that's okay, because we'll have to crack on and get this harvested then in the next video and put it straight in there. Um, yes, yeah, so I've still got a lot to do. Uh, thank you so much for watching, guys, and I'll leave it here. Take care, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.